Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and I'm doing a quick video on the ART Pro Channel 2 uh, professional tube microphone amplifier that I have and this is one of the amplifiers that I use when I am podcasting or using my YouTube uh, doing YouTube videos with my uh, good microphone over here I also use one of the ART uh, Studio V3s there now this one is pretty cool because it's actually very versatile it's got a compressor built in and all that stuff but wanted to get into why people have had problems with this particular preamplifier in the past because of a buzzing sound and if you don't know what that buzzing sound is it's cooked up to my bass amplifier if you hear that that is 120 hertz buzzing that is causing a problem and it can actually get worse if you have high incoming voltage. You know, I have it hooked up to my Variac. We're at 123 volts. My wall power is about 122 and a half uh, on any given day. Sometimes it could be less, but it fluctuates. And that's a perfectly acceptable range to have. Now, what you're hearing is that 120 hertz buzzing. And there's a reason why that is happening. And I'm going to discuss that and how to fix it. So I have taken off the top here, and what we're looking at here are these resistors. These resistors, they are 5 watt, 47 ohm resistors, and they are, are across the voltage regulators here on the circuit board. It's powering the negative 15 and positive 15 volts, and then also the high voltage to the tubes inside. They are, if I can see it here, R245 and R41. Now, those are there for a good reason, they are there to stabilize the regulator uh, depending on the incoming voltage and also the voltage if you the resistance on the output side these tubes when they are cold uh, don't draw any current as they start to heat up they draw more current and will load down the these regulators and that's important because you want to make sure that these vol voltage regulators stay stable across the output voltage and incoming voltage otherwise if they don't if they see an infinite resistance it could potentially get them to go unstable and then you could have problems with other things that don't draw a lot of current so that's why they have these resistors across them and what is the side effect of that because the tolerances of these regulators have changed over the years the part number is not the same this one's from 2022 this particular unit and if you got one from say five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago, you probably wouldn't have noticed that because the part they used was a little bit more robust, had some wider tolerances, but then as the quality of product uh, of these components got better, their tolerances got tighter, so there was less of a window where it can accept incoming voltage in a wider range. And the solution that you have probably re read on gear slots or any other audio forum is that you remove these two large resistors if you are in the United States on about 120 volts AC and that voltage will go uh, that sound that, it, that you hear will go away and what's happening is that because of the tolerance is not as wide from these newer parts if I was to bring the voltage let's zoom out here a little bit if I bring the voltage incoming to the preamplifier down Say we bring it down to something more typical, say 117 volts. You hear the white noise, but now it's perfectly quiet. And that is really what's happening. So the solution is to either run this at 120 volts or below, or you remove those resistors there. Now, if you remove them, what's going to happen is that those regulators will run a little bit hotter since there's not a low ohm potential load across their output. So in the event that there is a bad tube, you might blow one of these or both regulators out. Uh, so just keep that in mind. We don't want that to happen, but it's the very unlikely scenario to happen, to be honest. So uh, but wanted to actually show that it is actually a function of the incoming voltage. And again, if I bring this back up to about 122 and a half, I get a little bit of buzz. If I bring it up to say 124, the sound is that much worse. And that would not be ideal for a studio environment. So 
We'll leave it down at 118 and it's quiet as can be. Well guys, I hope that's been helpful. If there's any questions on this, please let me know. This unit has been around for a number of years and it's I've gotten seen a lot of great reviews on it and I think it's pretty versatile that it has an instrument input and then it also has the ability to accept microphones obviously. But what I found really cool is that I took the covers off here, I just wanted to see what tubes were in here and typically you find just some Chinese tubes. But in this case, I found a Sovtech 12AX7 here for the input stage and then on the output stage I found an EHX branded 1287 in v3 which i thought was very interesting to find russian made tubes in this particular unit and the person i bought it from said that he never did anything inside it. it's been stock ever since and i can tell because none of these screws look like they had been taken off before i got in here so pretty cool that there's russian made tubes here in the art products now or at least in this last batch but hope this has been helpful guys any questions please let me know and thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.